Here are boys, hope you're doing well. Welcome back, Doctor Glory. Uh, season finale today, going to play the final five games of the Premier League campaign, where after a tough run of form, we have dropped a tenth in the table. Uh, we're 11 points off West Ham, we've just won them all in a recent run-in, so any chance catch them now is basically gone. If we're going to reach seventh, we need a late, delayed Christmas miracle. So first final five games, Crystal Palace home. We need to win them all, and like West Ham slip up in most of them. Can't see it happening, but you never know. We'll fight till the end. That's a little free ball, that. Oh, what a finish. Absolutely crisp. Yeah, we weren't supposed to be here, man. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. We weren't even supposed to be here. You know, our first season in the Premier League, all we wanted to do was survive and survive reasonably comfortably. Mission accomplished. Disappointed into the season for what could have been, but it's still mission accomplished. It's annoying because like, after we got those wins against Chelsea and Arsenal, I was thinking, oh, here we go. Here we go. And then the collapse happened directly after. There's nothing worse than that. Do you know what I mean? Like, genuinely starting to believe something's going to happen. And then it just gets thrown away. Oh, fuck. So, it's so annoying. It's like, don't tease me like that. Do you know what I mean? It's like when you, it's like when you first start dating someone. You get onto a really good start. Nice little fling. And then after, like, three or four, maybe five dates, you get ghosted. It's like, come on. Like, don't even bother. Like, just let me know on the first date. Don't even waste my time like that. Oh, what a ball. Wisdom. Yeah, cracking finish. But I need to win this. King. Good delivery. Oh. I'm going to be in the heart of everything today, mate. Good head up. Register the bar post. There he is. Oh, yes. Reggie, we were nowhere ahead of man. This guy just lives for aerial duels. Combat complete. Come on, no, no, no. Yes, well in, Janssen. Forward we go. Wisdom is brilliant in this game here. Can he slide through King? He can. Kimura's at the far post. He's all alone. Oh, it should have been game. It's okay, though. It's not going to matter because we're going to close out the win. Back to back victories for the first time in ages. Oh, how the turntables normally we're the ones throwing away. In this one, we come from behind to win. We're still in this. Right, next up, rock bottom Hatters with only 15 points all season long. West Ham have got a game in hand. We have cut it to eight. And in their next game, they're away at Old Trafford as well. So we could potentially cut it to five with three games to go. They still have the game in hand. But all we can do is do our job. Slip up here at Kenilworth Road. Don't forget about it. We've got no chance. Looking back to when we first met. I cannot escape and I cannot forget. Mendes number one. Your striker's got none. Something, something, docks FC. I don't know. Here we go. Here we go. Reggie. Go on, Reggie. Turn on the afterburners. Oh, what a save. That's unlucky, that. I mean, you've got a three on three if we play this right. Golden chance. Got to take this. Oh, fuck me. Tried to cut it across. Should have just smashed it far post, man. Should have just smashed it far post. God damn. It's a slow game. Do you know those games that are just like stuck in the mud? I haven't really been able to get much going in this one. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Janssen. Janssen to Reggie. Wisdom. And Pat's got a finish. He does. Very few chances, but the postman always delivers on time. These are the games where we're missing Lopez, you know, that little bit of spark, that little bit of something. That's what we're missing. It's okay. So we can get our second goal here. That'll do it. It's a great touch on the chest by Pat. Bang. Game done. West Ham will close the gap as quick as we can. So for at least 24 hours, we'll cut the gap to five points with this win here. But West Ham will have two games in hand. So really... I mean, we're doing our job, but we require David Moyes' team to slip up big time. So, West Ham's game is actually tomorrow. So, I'll quickly sim through with you. And let's see if Manchester United can do us a massive, massive favour. And at least keep the gap at five and take away one of West Ham's two games in hand. So, fingers crossed. Here we go. Weekly schedule at Old Trafford. Uh, uh, well, well, they got a point. They got a point. Uh, it was a 1-1 one -one draw, so... Uh, still in it. Still in it. Uh, basically breathing on live support right now, but technically still alive. All West Ham need is four points from four games. And we've got to beat Liverpool, Newcastle and Manchester City. If we pull this off, 
It's the greatest comeback to European qualification of all time. You never know. You never know. We'll fight till the end, but uh, I think our chance will die today, personally. I'd say the chance of us making Europe is about as strong as me getting married by 31. But uh, it goes up every year, you know, it goes up every year. I'm 30 now, so now it's got to be 31. But we'll fight to the end. We'll, uh, we'll fight to the end. And just do the absolute best we can. But I'll tell you what, like, the, the games I'm going to remember as to why we didn't make 7th this year. Not, you know, drubbings against big teams. No, that was expected. But the games where we were leading by, like, two goals and... Oh, yes! Failed to close them out. But it's a perfect start. Wisdom breaks his gold out. And we take the lead against Liverpool. Okay, all right, let's keep it calm. Where are you going? Oh, he's done well there. Oh, Mendes, great save. It's going to be a long 62 minutes. We're going to close this out, but uh, doing doing as much as we can. Mark up tight, boys. Mark up tight. Branko does well. See when... Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, I can't believe it. Well, Janssen... Possibly could have done a bit better. Maybe he was unsighted by Mendes' dive, but uh, still, if he wasn't there, I would definitely gone in anyway, so I can't be too critical. Even so, it's so annoying. No, those are the moments there where you expect the AI to give you a little bit of help, you know. <laughs> Instead, that is a shocking attempt at a clearance. But, it's okay. It's alright. Because we're back in front! Oh, come on! Well, scores on the door at a break, but it's a little bit bleak, unfortunately. West Ham are leading by a goal in London against Nottingham Forest. So, yeah, that'll mean they'll just need one point from their final three games to guarantee at least seventh place. We, uh, we can only do our job, though. We can only do our job, and so far we are. It's all we can do. All we can do. Oh, there's a chance here for a quick breakaway, you know. Oh, what a chance. McLean for his first Docs FC goal. Wow. All we can do is do our job. Lewis has his first at a basketball pitch. I've got to go away to the Etihad next. I just got to keep reminding myself, man. Like, the games just keep getting tougher. Our final game is a home one, it is the Magpies. But, uh, like I said, just do our job, you know. It's all we can do. All we can do. And as things stand, we're going to do our job in this one here. Our penultimate home game. As Janssen is behind Diaz. He's out of energy. This should, this should be four. This should be game. It is. Kimura taps it in. Game. We'll go to the Etihad and mathematically we'll still have a chance. But uh, we're, we're still breathing and hanging on by the skin of our teeth. We're basically there. And, oh, that's it. McLean just did what Janssen should have done. <laughs> Gets it off the line with the chest and that'll do it. 4-1 the final score. And regardless of what West Ham did, we'll at least take it for another game week. Right, cross your fingers, lads. Let's hope Forrest did us a favour. He did not. <laughs> Even the goal difference doesn't do us a favour. We beat Liverpool by three goals. That doesn't mean anything, though. So, gap is still six. We've got two games to go. West Ham need to lose them all. We need to win them all. And our next one is away at the Etihad Stadium with Manchester City still having an outside shot at the title. Who have West Ham got? Oh, they're gaming as Luton. Uh, okay. We might as well just sim all the way through. I'm pretty sure it's uh, it's going to go there. Is it over? I'm pretty sure it will be. Yep. It's over. Well, I mean... Y you know, four straight wins. We've 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 done as well as we can. But West Ham's form has been unbelievable. They have not lost a game since I think February or March. It's been crazy. Still, because Arsenal have been really poor this season for some strange reason, it does guarantee a top ten finish. So I would have taken that free season and then some. So we've got to keep things in perspective. Final two games to try and close them out undefeated. Man City away and then Newcastle home. Final away there at the Etihad. <laughs> Let's see if we can just keep keep. Keep us in the top eight. Feeling I know all too well. Do everything I can, yet still come up short. Why is life so difficult? <laughs> I just want to get married and buy a house. <laughs> oh. Oh, what a save. Still been a good season, regardless of how you look at it. You know, last 16 in the cup once again. 
and a guaranteed top 10 finish in the, uh, the Premier League. I mean, that's that's impressive, no matter how you look at it. We're nearly promoted. Pellegrini. Foden. Oh, great tackle. Janssen defensively absolutely solid in this game, I tell you. And Pat's asking for us. I'm going to send it to him. He loves to do that, Pat. Charge in behind. Oh. Dalton. To Pat. Uploads to Wisdom. Oh, that's a brilliant touch, that. And King, and this has got to be it. This has got to be game. It will be. Go and celebrate those... Tr oh, oh, kicking out of King. Go and celebrate with the fans, mate. Go and celebrate with the fans. Final away date. We're going to win at the Etihad. We won't be in Europe next year, but what a great first season, man. Careful, lads. Careful. Throwing away too many points this season. And there's 18 minutes to go. We might do it again. Well... I think we will close it out now. Jelovic, go for the corner. Go for the corner, mate. It's all right. It's okay. Oh, oh I teased you. I teased you. Game. I love doing that. It's so fun. Teasing to come to the corner and then working it inside. Pats, I think 19 for the year. And that wraps it up. Away day victory in our final one this season at the Etihad. Oh, great camera angle. Get up, boys. Limbs. I think it's 19 or maybe 20 for Pat. Anyway, we'll have it. We'll have it. 3-1 victory. It might count for nothing, but if we can close out the season with six straight wins, our best run of form all season, that would be a great way to end the campaign. Yeah, he fails to terminate his contract. I'll give him a pro deal. There we go. Never like to give you first pro deals at the end of the season, but uh, there you go. Right, final game of the season. Uh, we are locked in eighth. Can't finish higher, can't finish lower, and that will be our final position this season. Do you know what? If you would have said to me at the start of the campaign, you'll finish eighth. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I would have bitten your hand off to get it. Even so, Newcastle home, finally get to the basket pitch. Let's just try and end on six straight wins, man. That would be a great way to end the campaign. Well, of course, this is the game where West Ham slip up. <laughs> It's typical, isn't it, man? Absolutely typical. Oh, Pat's done well. Go on. This is your chance for your 20th, mate. This is for goal number 20. Oh, great save. And I'd love to be able to break down the stats and see just how Pat got his goals this season because that's a great ball through. And Mendes bails me out. I mean, the amount of goals he scored this year with his head, and throughout his career with his head as well. I mean, Lancaster this year, of course, he scored more than half his goals with his head, but Pat as well. You know, he scored a dagger against City with his head as well. It's unbelievable, man. Like, seriously, this dude's just an aerial monster. This is something I was thinking of recently as well. Like, who do you think is the best header of all time in football history? Like, it's a very, very difficult question to answer. But, you know, for all the, for all the, the criticism he's had recently in his, uh, his final couple of years in pro football, I'd have to stick my neck out and say Ronaldo. You know, I, I think Ronaldo personally. Um, he's had some incredible leaps. He scored a header in a Champions League final. I mean, I, I think Ronaldo, personally. I think he scored over 100 goals with his head as well. That that would be my bet. I'd, I'd love to know your thoughts, though, in the comments. I know a lot of people would say Sergio Ramos. I understand that, especially as a defender as well. He's also scored a header in a Champions League final. In fact, he scored one of the most iconic headers in a Champions League final. But who would you say? Greatest header of all time? Let me know in the comments. Go on, claim win that, mate. Oh, what a save, Mendes. This guy, man. Dude is unreal. This, if he can keep it, this will be his 10th clean sheet of the season. All right, I'm going to fall one short of getting packed to 20. We will fall short of extending our winning run on the final day. But we will extend the undefeated run to six. And that's how we'll close it out with a clean sheet and Mendes' 10th of the year as well. Okay, that's, that's it. To be fair, the fixtures we had, the fans might not be happy, but really? Really? Six games without a loss, the big wins away, a clean sheet, and an eighth place finish. Really? Come on now. Right then, final league standings this year. Chelsea champions by eight points. Both Manchester clubs in second and third, and Liverpool getting to fourth as well. Uh, Spurs guaranteed Europa League football, uh, and Leicester edged out West Ham on goal difference to keep sixth. We finished eighth, though, with 13 draws, the highest in the season. And really, I'd say that's why... We did not get into the top seven. We slipped up so, oh, so many games um, from leading positions. Dropped so many points from leading positions, man. Had we not done that, no doubt about it, we would be in the top seven. That that was the big problem this year. Not scoring, not conceding, 
but just dropping points. Brentford, Forest and Luton down to the championship. Leicester City beating Forest in a nice rival clash in a Carabao Cup final by three goals to two. Chelsea completing a domestic double, beating West Ham in an all-London affair in the final of the FA Cup. PSV, Europa Conference League winners. Juventus, the old lady, if you're watching my My Player save right now, you'll know them when Arch Nemesis beating RB Leipzig 2-1 in the final of the Europa League. And as for the Champions League... The winners this year were Bayern Munich beating Liverpool on penalties. And as I always say, take the other league tables with a pinch of salt. But Bournemouth and Burnley should be going back to the Premier League. Bournemouth again are one of our rivals in this save. Uh, with Norwich, Watford, Brighton and the Blades in the playoffs this year. Right, uh, so that is that. We shall end it there. Uh, I don't know if I'll give Winter and Nishimura a contract. I might. I mind. I'm, uh, I'm not too sure. One thing I will do, though, is uh, show you the stats of my players this season and the attributes as well. Uh, men is up to 80 overall. Now, I don't know how much better he can get, if I'm being totally honest. I'm Mexican shot stopper. I am definitely thinking with that academy goalkeeper, we are potentially special. Next year, I might give him some game time. Uh, Chidi John has grown 12 ratings out on loan this year. Uh, Alvarez has gone up by 6 as well. Ishikawa up by 5. Belogan's up 5. What is up to? Uh, Jones is up by 9 as well. Love to see the loans working out for me this year. Uh, Branco's grown 4 ratings to 80 overall. Great signing in the summer. Kovacay, which I don't think can get much better now than 79 overall. But the commander will always have a place in this team, no doubt. Uh, Sandy up by 2. Oh, McLean, brilliant. It's converted to left back now. There we go. Lovely stuff. Uh, so that's nice to see as well. Uh, Janssen up to Not sure he can get much better than 80 overall. But even so, he's our Jal Cancelo, man. We love this guy to pieces. Yamashita up by nine. I'm loving the loan system right now. This guy's going to be a menace when he comes back from the Netherlands. Uh, Gutierrez growing nicely in Turkey as well. Uh, Johnson up a couple ratings as well. Kimura is up 4.79 overall. Still growing really nicely, Kimura. Had a pretty solid season for us in the DM area, but also spent time playing fullback as well. I really like Kimura, man. He's, he's pretty solid for me. So, yeah, he'll keep his place in this team. Right, probably not going to grow much more, uh, more now. Same with Dalton as well. Next year, I'm going to look for a new CM. This might be the end of winter. I've got to be honest, man. I don't really see the point in keeping him around anymore. Ibrahim, though, great season, man. Nine goals and 15 assists. He also won the assist title in the Premier League, by the way, with 13. He's up 4 to 82 overall as well. Still growing and still looking as good as ever with that potential to be special. Uh, Nishimura, I think I probably will give him a contract at the end of the season. And Nail is still here as well. Wilson's up 8. Force is up 2. Lopez with the ACL. That is gutting. He's having, a, he's having an okay season. He was doing all right, especially in the Premier League for being cut short. He'll miss about a third of next season, of course, as well. Uh, Jelovic grew a rating since coming in on a free. Amos is up by four ratings, just quite the academy. Miller's up four as well. Uh, King, Bale's region up by two. Not sure how much better he can get, but even so, solid pick up on a free. Blackburn it stays the same. Hassan stays the same. Dickinson's grown seven, but as for the postman, up three, still shows great potential. Top scorer for us year of 19 in 36 and three as well. For Lancaster, Finally, position change has been completed. He's up to 80 overall. Solid season. Nine goals in seven. Uh, nine goals in, uh, in the Premier League and seven assists as well. Yeah, I've turned this guy into my inside forward on the right. And i got to say, he's my favourite signing of the year, this lad. He's been really good. Oh, and why don't I show you the player stats well, just while I'm here for the, uh, for the whole season. Brian and Buemo shot the league this year to win the Golden Boot. Fair play. I don't think I've ever done a save where Embuemo's won the golden boot, but that is class, mate. Pat did make it into the top seven in the end, but no one else from Docs FC got double digits this year, unfortunately. Uh, Ibrahim, again, as I said a minute ago there, did win the assist title. And Mendes got his 10th clean sheet on the final day to break into the top four. So that was nice to see as well. Right, that's it. That's it. We shall uh, we shall leave it there then. We are done for the season. An eighth place finish, a last 16 run in the FA Cup as well. For a first year in the Premier League, yes, Disappointed we couldn't go all the way to Europe, but that would have been a miracle how we done it anyway. I've got to say, I'm liking the look at this team, I really am. Next year, though, no doubt about it. I need a new CM, and as much as I love Kovacavic, I think basically this year, after letting so many cheap goals in and some leads slip for our things as well, probably a new CB. So that's my priority next year. New CM and a new centre as well. Guys, thank you for watching Season 4 and our first in the Premier League. If you've enjoyed it, then please do drop a like. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic day, and we will return in the very next episode of a brand new season, our second year in the Premier League, we're no doubt about it. We'll definitely be going for Europe for the following season. Have a great day, much love, and I'll see you for the new season very soon.